Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up automated responses using Facebook in the new 2020 interface. Now, this is actually the third time I've done this video, so uh, with all the uh, changes Facebook's been implementing over the last couple of years, uh, I've sort of had to keep up with it. But if you're actually not using the new interface and you choose to go and switch to classic Facebook, uh, the other video I have up, which I'll link to in the description below, will show you how to do that on the classic Facebook interface. Now, before I get started here, um, I do also want to point out, uh, I'm going to show you where you can find these automated message settings, and then I'll quickly run through how you can find them on your phone, because after that, it's pretty much the same process with a few minor differences. So you've got your page open, you've got your manage page showing up here on the left, which shows up automatically in the new uh, layout. All you need to do is head down the bottom to settings, and then of course to messaging, and you've got your usual um, settings here for messaging, such as showing a greeting. So if, someone, if you want someone to see a greeting when they come through to uh, your page, you can actually have uh, a, a greeting window, chat window that appears with a message. Uh, depending on if, when they're on phone, that might not pop up. It might be something you have to click on. But uh, what we're looking for other than that uh, greeting messages message is to go down to set up automated responses. So I'm gonna click set up for that. As you can see, it says this page hasn't been designed for the new Facebook yet. So it's pretty much the same as before from here, but I will go through it again. Now, if you are on it on your phone, the process is uh, pretty much the same. You do need the Pages app. So if you are just using the standard Facebook app, try and find the Facebook Pages app, install that, log in, open up your page, and down the bottom right, you'll find your suitcase icon. You click on that, and then you'll see settings. So you simply click on settings, and from there, you get your automated responses, which is showing up just there. You click automated responses, and you get everything there uh, under your automated responses page that we pretty much see here. Now, different pages, back to the computer here, because once again, it's much the same. Different pages have different, uh, slightly different options, depending on the type of page you run. I'm not exactly sure what pages offer what, or any of that, but uh, it is something to note that sometimes you'll see something here that I don't actually, uh, that you might not have or vice versa. So first of all, an away message. Um, when I'm away, I can actually set up a schedule if I want to, so I'm gonna go to edit. Um, now you can edit this message, but it says here, hi, with the name of the person, thanks for your message. We're not here right now, we'll get back to you soon. In the meantime, any questions you have, please leave them. So I may put something like that. So any questions you have in the meantime, please leave them here. And we can actually set up the timing, uh, schedule times that we're away. So I go add time. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go uh, maybe Saturday and Sunday and just choose all the way through. So I'm away for those days. And then on, what I'm gonna do actually untick that. So now I'm gonna change it to from, say 12 a.m. to let's say nine. AM and I'll make that for those days. So okay, so that's actually I have stuffed that up a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so now you want to add another time. So you click add time and then simply go down the page like this. So once again I'll go through the weekdays and this time I'll say uh, so four PM to eleven fifty nine PM. So we've got all those days off and my work hours I'm actually in. And I add another time, Saturday and Sunday, all day. So now I'm away at all those times. Uh, so if you contact me during all those, any of those times on Facebook, you'll get a little message. Doesn't mean I won't necessarily respond, but it just means that if you're, uh, yeah, if someone's contacting you and you happen to not be there, uh, yeah, it's just good to see. Now I've just zoomed out a little bit so we can see the entire interface here. So we've set up our away time. We're just going to click save at the top here. Save those changes. And you can see we've got our schedule and our message here, our away message. Now you do also have the option for instant reply. Uh, now, as you turn some of these on and off, some will turn off. Now that I uh, have instant reply, the away message is turned off. So if I click edit here and add a instant reply, I can just say, thank you for contacting me. I will reply as soon as possible. For a quick 
echo response, please email info at redorintact.com. So you can set up a message like that, for instance, um, if you want to bypass. It's a good way that if someone, if you, uh, I actually had a client once who I worked for, uh, has a Facebook page, got a lot of messages on Facebook, but wasn't Facebook savvy. So we set this up so that whenever someone messaged their page, it would say, hey, send us an email or give us a call. And that actually uh, helped sort of fix that problem for them. So that's an option too. And once again, maybe I'll save that and keep that as my message. So um, yeah, we can keep that there basically as a little auto response. Now, contact information. If you have contact information, you can uh, send that through. So respond to a message asking for contact information. Uh, so you can do that too. You can click edit. So maybe it is, uh, please contact us using the below methods. And maybe I just say visit our website, add another button, send us an email. And because it's a URL, I'll mail to So you can set that up if you have a phone number. You can also add, you know, um, TEL colon. I won't add my phone number in here. Um, but it's basically an option you can have. I'm not going to actually save that because I don't want that on here. Um, location. So again, I go to edit. You can say where we're located. This says where I'm located because I do live in Maryborough in Queensland in Australia. So once again, I whoops. Once again, I don't want to have that on there. Frequently asked questions. So this is another one where you can actually set up a series of questions and predetermined answers that people can click on. So a question might be, where can I sign up to start a free website? Or maybe how do I start a free website? How do I start a website? Check out our free online e course at yes we'll add a button free course on our website so I say add a button and then the action sign up greaterimpact.com slash start yeah so you can do that you can also add attachments of like PDFs and things like that. So if someone says, can I please see your menu? If you're a restaurant, pop a PDF on there and they can download that. So that's an option as well. And you can add a few questions on here um, and simply go down from there. Now also uh, respond to feedback. When your page is recommended, you can have an automatic response. Thank you for recommending us. We're glad you had a great experience. So that way if you're getting tons of recommendations, at least you can add something in there. You can pop an image in there. Maybe you can give a thumbs up or a little video saying thank you, thumbs up, something like that. Page not recommended. You can put something else in there like, what the hell is your problem? No, I'm just kidding, don't put that there. But that's something you can do if you really want to. If you want to be a little bit funny about it, you can do that too. Now, other things, if you're trying to advertise a job, you can also you know, thank someone for sending an application through to you, which is pretty easy. So once again, uh, if you list a job, they upload an attachment or whatever. Oh, sorry, they, uh, yeah, after they've listed the job, you can actually upload an attachment, have a button going off to a website or something like that. Also, if you have appointments, you can set up reminders. So you actually send customers an automatic reminder. This is pretty handy um, because sometimes customers, if you have like have customers, they don't remember this stuff. So if you do set up uh, appointments on Facebook, this is a handy way for you to basically, you know, send a messenger or a text message by the looks of it uh, the day before the message. So simply turn that on, it works. And that's it. Follow up messages. So a message after their appointment. So maybe you can say. If you're someone who, uh, you know, maybe you, for example, I build websites, that's what I do. I can send up for two weeks. I can say, how is the website going? Are you having any issues with it that I can help with? That's not what I do on this page, but you get the idea. It's something I can do. I can add a personalization here. So you've got names, you've got all sorts, Facebook page link, if you're someone who, sets up Facebook pages or so you got a few options there like pretty basic um, not just to sort of re respond to people personalizations are basically uh, you know things like uh, 
information that the customer would have. So they would actually have to have a Facebook page for that to work. If they have a website, they might not have these things, but at least the, the first name and last name is there um, or an email address if you wanted to do it that way. So that's pretty much it. Just going through here, clicking the ones you want to turn on, adding your messages, clicking save as you add them is uh, just a really good way to uh, set this up, set up automatic messages. And like I said, it's very similar on the phone. You just got to basically dig that up. It's the uh, the same options just on a phone basically. So uh, yeah, I hope you found that information useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want more like this, please subscribe. I'm also doing a lot more Facebook videos if you are looking at ways to improve your uh, Facebook presence. Um, yeah, hop on and uh, yeah, give subscribe to our channel. And also, don't forget to check me out on Facebook. That's uh, facebook.com slash creator impact. So hope you have a great day and I hope to speak to you again soon. See you later.